Hey guys, welcome to my channel and here we get the new optional quality update in Windows 10 laptop and desktop. Okay, to update it first, go to start and after it, go to settings. And if we go in update and security, you can see optional quality update available. This is 2024-11 cumulative update preview for Windows 10 version 22H2 for x64 based systems kb5046714 and guys the size of this update is 669 mb and if you want to know more about this update click on learn more so you can see windows 10 was on 22h2 update history click on it and you can see November 2021 2024 KB 5046714. Click on it. So, as you can see, here's the highlights app list backup, which is fixed. Windows, Win Windows 32 shortcuts might not back up to the cloud, and copy cloud files is also fixed. When you drag and drop files from a cloud files provider folder, it might result in a move instead of a copy. And you can see improvements. Motherboard replacement, it is also fixed. Windows does not activate after you replace a motherboard. And you can see country and operator settings asset and internet printing protocol ipp printer which is also fixed windows stops responding when you use an ipp usb printer and this is the servicing stack this is the known issue in this update as you can see microsoft is not currently aware of any issue with this update and this is how to get this update and this is the file information okay now close it as you can see would you like to pin youtube.com to your taskbar no thanks so you can see okay guys when you are ready to download and install this update click on download and install so now i'm going to download and install this update simply click on download and install as you can see downloading and there is no need to stuck on this window minimize it and do other tasks so you can see downloading zero percent guys it might take some time as you can see downloading 100 percent completed now wait when installing will start Okay, it took time, but finally installing start. Here you can see installing 0%. Now wait when it will move. So you can see installing started and you can see the speed is going uh, good all right guys it might take some time so kind of wait so you can see installing 100% completed okay and guys this is the good thing this time no error came and you can see 
okay we get the restart now and schedule the restart and i hope microsoft will reduce the processing time to make it more faster okay after the restart this update will successfully install and it might take three to five minutes okay guys thanks for watching if you have any query related to this video let me know in comment section below please like share subscribe and click on bell icon for the latest updates